Hello and welcome to another MonsterVerse video. So, obviously, it's pretty common knowledge now that with all the different Kongs that we've had, most of the time they end up dead. Obviously, there's the original, you know, the 1933 movie, which I have not seen, but I have seen the clip of him on the Empire State Building. So I assume he dies there. Obviously, the, I, I, I swear to God, if I say obviously one more time, in the 2005 Peter Jackson King Kong movie, one that people still regard as the best Kong film, which, I mean, I would agree if it wasn't so freaking long, like that thing is over three hours, like <laughs> it's, it's Titanic, it's the Titanic, it's the length of the Titanic, well, not, not the ship, the, the, uh, you know what I mean, it, it, the movie is too long, but of course, that movie, I haven't seen it in years. I'm talking maybe like seven, eight years. But of course, I remember being absolutely heartbroken when they killed Kong. And of course, the line that Jack Black delivers at the end of the film is, it was beauty that killed the beast. Now, as for MonsterVerse Kong, of course, he's too big to be killed by planes. Yeah, I mean, hell, a plane is like the size of his eyeball. He's too big to be killed by anything human related, so we can't really get that. But what if there is a crazy titan in the next Godzilla and Kong movie that, you know, well, which will hopefully actually be a Godzilla and Kong movie and not another Kong movie. But what if there is a titan that is so dangerous that it could threaten Kong's best friend in the whole world, little Gia? I mean, obviously, it doesn't have to be anything that dangerous. I mean, she's a little, she, she's a little poop squeak. But what if Kong ends up sacrificing himself to save Gia? Because obviously, they are really well. I say they. Adam Wingard isn't attached to the project anymore. But he was, of course, setting something up for Kong. He. We didn't get to see the completed story with whatever he was doing with Kong because. You know, God's, before Godzilla vs. Kong, Godzilla got two solo movies, Kong got one. And Kong was very much like at the back when it came to the focus of the monster verse. But now he's, he's front and center, unfortunately. But I can't help but wonder what Adam Wingard was going to do. But I feel like if they are going to kill Kong off, this is the best way to do it. I don't want him sacrificing himself to save Godzilla. I don't want him to be killed to show how dangerous the enemy is. You know, I don't want him to have a Caesar or a John Wick death where he's fine the rest of the movie, but in the end, all of a sudden, he just dies. You know, I don't want that for Kong. If he is going to die, and let's be honest, he's pretty old now. He's gray-haired for some reason. One of the coolest titans in the MonsterVerse, and, they, and he's going to die soon. Uh, if they are going to kill Kong, I feel that this is the only way that they can do it is he dies by sacrificing himself to save Gia. Because, of course, it would bring back the whole thing of Beauty Kill the Beast. I don't know, that whole thing just seems really, really cool to me. Just that entire concept, because, of course, with Monster vs. Kong, we haven't had we haven't had the most important part of the King Kong character happen, and that is him being called King Kong, you know, he's been proclaimed unofficially King twice now. He was King in the Hollow Earth at the end of Godzilla vs. Kong, and now obviously he killed Scar King, so he rules the Hollow Earth, so he's King Kong again, but they don't call him King Kong. So I feel we need to bring in some of those original traits of King Kong. First of all, call him King Kong, and secondly, you know, when he dies, do it that way. But yeah, please let me know your thoughts on this. Is this how you want Kong to die? I know it's a heartbreaking topic because so many people love Kong. But honestly, Godzilla and Kong, the new empire, has just really soured my taste with Kong. Because he's eating up all the screen time and Godzilla has gotten absolutely nothing. In fact, you know what? As I'm recording this, I was watching a video uh, on YouTube and it literally there's eight minutes left of the video. That's more screen time than Godzilla had in Godzilla and Kong. <laughs> but yeah, please let me know your thoughts. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and 
Goodbye.